Now the next step is to assign the boundary conditions for this. So there's mainly two boundary conditions. One is um, the fixing condition of the two points of the beam, and another one is the rigid link between uh, here your uh, section defining plate and your general beam in order to link these points with the middle point. So um, go into the boundary window and click on define support. Check the option DO and RX. And now uh, we have to select these nodes. So click on select symbol. Select these two nodes here. Click on apply. So now I define this the condition. So you can close that and open the read the link window. Uh, I will shrink again the mesh so you can see better how to sign that and go into these kind of view. Also uh, the node member. So the node at the middle here is the node um so I'll make it in make this better hundred and eighty three. So here in the master node I will enter this node hundred and eighty three and I have to select these nodes on this plane. So to select the node on this plane I have to right click and select select plane so this plane is the plane uh, x z so i only have to select one node inside of the link that's the plane yes x so i will unselect that click on select all A little closer, is that it? Yeah. So it is the plane uh, Y, Z. Sorry. Uh, and now I have to put a node which is inside this plane. Uh, okay, I will do a flat node. Okay, so now I'll put it here. Close that. And here, don't forget to check rigid body because all the degree of freedom has to be automatic. Click on apply, and now we can go back. I think it's on those here too, so I will just do that again. Um, here, right click, select plane. Uh, plane YZ, select this, click on close, uh, and click on apply. Okay, so it's a little bit of basic creation. Now I have to create the same on the other page here. So for that, again, the same method select plane, select node in this place, close, and apply. Oh, I forgot to change the master node. Um, here you have a button for the previous selection. So, if, uh, here, so it will automatically select again your last selection. So sometimes it's really good. Click on this one here, the node number 3. You can apply with the link here as well. Okay, now that I've created these two rigid links, um, I will go to the next step. So the next step is to assign the load to the, the model. So in order to assign the load, I will first create the load chain. So go into load and here I will go a simple static analysis so static load click on static load case and the name so it will be in load uh, for the type of load you can enter user defined load and click on add 
Now I will define two types of load. One will be the element beam load and the other will be the compensator load. So uh, the element beam load, click on element here and verify that your load case name is here. Uh, we, only, we have to select the two uh, beams, so we can select single and select the two beams here. Now uh, just enter the value of uh, the W, so minus 50,000. Um, just one thing, it matters the combat in metal units. Now I will apply um, concentrated load to this here. So for that, I will go to the like that. I want to hide uh, the node, left only the node on the new plane. So for that, I have to select plane. That. Okay, then go in the view window, activate that. So it will be reactivate this. Now I have to insert the load. So go in load, node load, add this place. Okay, and I will select the node from this. So I will select one node here and one node here. So try a different uh, load on the boundary. So right click, select, and I will use the polygon selection to select this node. So this is here. Okay. And in Z direction, enter minus 50,000. Multiply by 3, divided by 16. On apply. Now I will assign um, another load to this two points only. And uh, just add divided by two. Maybe like that. Now that you have done that, you can launch the analysis so and shrink. You can activate all the mesh like that. So to launch the analysis, go into analysis, and here you have the perform analysis button. So click on that. Okay. Once again, you have your results. So right now you can check the results.